Have you ever heard of hairy leukoplakia? It might sound like a mythical creature, but it's in fact a medical condition that affects the tongue. Not as fantastical as it sounds, hairy leukoplakia is a condition characterized by the appearance of white patches on the tongue. These patches are the handiwork of the Epstein-Barr virus, a common virus that's also the culprit behind mononucleosis. Now you might be wondering, why haven't you heard of it before? That's because hairy leukoplakia mainly targets individuals with weakened immune systems, so it's more prevalent among those battling HIV AIDS or those who've undergone organ transplants. While the white patches are usually painless, they can cause a certain amount of discomfort. Imagine a persistent burning or stinging sensation on your tongue. Not a pleasant feeling, right? A painless yet discomforting condition, hairy leukoplakia often leaves its bearers with a burning or stinging sensation. Now, how would you know if you have hairy leukoplakia? Well, the most notable sign is the appearance of white patches on your tongue. These aren't your average patches either. They have a unique characteristic. They could either be hairy or exhibit a corrugated texture, somewhat like ridges on a potato chip. Typically, these patches tend to make their home on the sides of the tongue, but they don't limit themselves to that location. They can also pop up in other parts of the mouth. Now, don't fret too much. While these patches might look a bit strange, they're usually painless. However, some people might experience a bit of a burning or stinging sensation. Understandably, the sight of these patches can stir up some worry. But remember, these patches, though unusual, are not typically associated with pain. Though not painful, the appearance of these patches can cause understandable concern. You might be wondering, what causes hairy leukoplakia and how is it diagnosed? Well, the main culprit behind this condition is the Epstein-Barr virus, or EBV for short. This is a common virus that most people encounter at some point in their lives. However, it's not EBV alone that leads to hairy leukoplakia. The condition typically surfaces when the immune system is compromised or weakened, as is the case with HIV AIDS or post-organ transplant patients. When it comes to diagnosing hairy leukoplakia, physicians usually identify it during routine mouth examinations. They're looking for those characteristic white patches, often found on the sides of the tongue. These patches might be hairy or corrugated in appearance. In cases where the diagnosis isn't clear-cut, a biopsy might be required. This involves taking a small sample of the affected tissue for laboratory testing. Diagnosing hairy leukoplakia is usually straightforward, but a biopsy can be used to confirm any uncertainties. Unfortunately, there's no direct cure for hairy leukoplakia, but there is hope. The key to managing this condition lies in addressing the underlying issue that's weakening the immune system, which is typically a contributing factor. For individuals living with HIV or AIDS, antiretroviral medications can significantly boost the immune system. This not only helps in managing the general health of the individual, but it can also reduce the severity of hairy leukoplakia symptoms and even prevent its recurrence. In some situations, antifungal medications might also be employed. These can help control the growth of the white patches, providing some degree of relief. Remember, every individual is unique, and so is their response to treatment. What works for one may not work for another. That's why it's crucial to have open, ongoing discussions with your healthcare provider to find the best treatment strategy for you. Although hairy leukoplakia itself cannot be cured, its symptoms can be managed, and its recurrence can be reduced with the right treatment.